Pattern with blocks. In this video, we'll learn about identifying block patterns around us, recognizing rules by looking at the block patterns, and to draw it further by recognizing the pattern. Let's see what these two sisters are doing in the garden. Sister, here I come. What are you doing? Come Vishti, sit here. Look, today I am trying to draw patterns from blocks. Sister, what is pattern making from blocks? Look, I have some blocks with designs made on it. If I apply color to this and print the design on a paper or cloth in such a way by repeating this, then it makes a pattern. I'll draw patterns on this cloth with the help of these blocks and then mother will make a frock for you out of this. Oh wow sister, then we'll make a nice pattern for this. But sister, please tell me more about patterns. Do we make pattern by blocks only? No Mishti, we have a lot of patterns around us. Just look at the birds in the sky. Wow, so beautiful! Yes, could you see something special in it? Yes, they are flying in a V shape. Absolutely right, they are all flying in a V pattern. Yes! Now look at this branch. Can you see a pattern in this? In this, the leaves are arranged side to side in a nice pattern. Look how beautiful they are looking. And look at this flower. How beautifully the petals are decorated. This is also a pattern. You can see many such patterns in the nature. Look around. Can you find any more patterns? Sister, look at my toe fingers. How beautifully they are arranged in an ascending order. Hey, you have found a nice pattern. Kids, you can pause the video and look out for the patterns around you. Come, let's draw a block pattern on this cloth. See, I have these blocks. Sister, can I draw? Yes. First paint this block with color, then apply it on the cloth. Okay. See this. Now do the next one yourself. This, like this. Oh no, not like this. First look. How I have drawn these two blocks. If the rule by which these two are made is followed, then only you will get the pattern. This one is upside down. Oh, is it like this, sis? Yes, perfect. According to this rule, we are placing the blocks in a straight pattern. Can we make pattern by placing the blocks upside down? Yes, definitely. We can draw patterns by making our own rules too. Now look at this pattern and tell me which rule is it following? Oh wow sis, what a beautiful design pattern you have made by printing this block straight and upside down. So, what is the rule of this pattern? The rule of this pattern is first two straight blocks and then two inverted ones in order. Yes, right. And by following this rule, we can carry forward this pattern. Come, let me show you some more new block designs. Yes sis, please show. I am enjoying this a lot. Let me cut this lady finger. Now see, if we color this part and apply it to the paper or cloth, 
It can also act as a beautiful block. Yes sis, this is very similar to a block. Yes, we can make different patterns from this too, like this. Designs with the help of vegetables? I have never thought about this. Now think and tell me, can we use any other food item or vegetable for block printing? Mmm, capsicum, walnut. Very good. Kids, you can pause the video and can think about more of such type of object. Look Mishti, I have made this beautiful pattern for your frock. First I painted the block with red color to make this pattern. Then I painted it with yellow to make this pattern. And then I painted this lady finger with green to make this pattern. And then I repeated this for a while. Mom, come fast! And see what a beautiful pattern is made by sister on this cloth. Now please sew a beautiful frock out of this. In this video we learned about identifying block patterns around us, recognizing rules by looking at block patterns and to draw further by recognizing the pattern. Pattern with Blocks Part 2 In this video we will learn about how to make patterns out of blocks, to identify rules of block patterns and to make our own rules for block printing. Come let's see what's happening in Akshay's home on the day of Diwali. Mom, what are you doing? And today is Diwali and we will be worshipping God in the Eve. So I am making sweets for that. Yum! I love sweets a lot. Yes, I know son. Mom, which sweet are you making? Your favorite laddus. And see, they are already prepared. Now I am making sandesh. Mom, what is this? Son, these are some blocks to make design on the sandesh. Oh, how are this made? See, this is how we put the dough of sandesh in this block and press this lightly and then carefully turn it upside down and see, here it is. Oh, wow, mother, this sandesh has got such a beautiful design on it. See how this arc surrounding the flower are making a beautiful pattern. Yes, mother. Can I make two? Yes, why not? Let's make this together. Mom, how is it? Very beautiful. Now it will be more tastier. <laughs> Mom's sweets are prepared. Now what will you do? Now I'll draw rangoli. Can I also make rangoli with you? Why not? We should work together in festivities. Mom, tell me what should I do? See, these are some blocks and colors. By applying colors on these blocks, we can easily make beautiful patterns on the floor. Can I make two? Of course, let me make the first one. Then you follow it further. Yes, mom. Now try on your own. Like this? No, Akshay, not like this. First look at the pattern that I have made. Then try to figure out the rule and then follow it. So tell me what is the rule of this pattern? 
Mom, you have put two different colored blocks one after the other. Like the first red one and then green and then red and then again green. And it's repeated like this. Absolutely. Now carry this forward. Mom, like this? Yes, right. Now let's finish this pattern. Mom, can I draw one more? Yes, yes, definitely. Oh, you have made a really nice pattern. Yes, I have made this rule on my own by experimenting on different colors. Very good. So beautiful. Daddy, please have a look on our beautiful rangoli. Oh wow, have you made this? Yes, I have made this with mom. Very nice. Now let's go to Pooja room. Dad, what are you doing? I am decorating our Pooja room with lots of colors. Wow, you have made such beautiful and colorful patterns. Yes. Would you like to make some patterns? Yes, Dad. Okay, start making. Dad, how is this? Hmm, very nice. But what is the rule of your pattern? I have made this block pattern by using red, then yellow, then red, and then again yellow. Oh, wow, this is a very nice pattern. Thank you, Dad. So kids, this is it for today. You can also try blocks to make different beautiful patterns out of it. In this video, we have learned to make patterns out of blocks, to identify rules of block patterns, and to make our own rules for block printing. Alphabet Patterns Today we'll learn about making our own rules to make patterns from alphabets and using these rules to make code language. Chatura, do you know today China's Prime Minister will meet our Prime Minister? Yes, I have read it in newspaper. But how will they talk? Why? Because both of them use different languages. They are accompanied by people who can translate the Chinese language into Hindi and Hindi language into Chinese. There are so many languages in the world. English, Russian, Japanese and uh, Punjabi, Kannad, Uriya. Yes, and every language has its own pattern. Patterns in languages too. Hey Bholu, I just remembered we have made a language of our own. And it also has a pattern. How's that? Paw follow pill pig, passport be fight, poop nose. What are these two talking about? I couldn't even understand a single word. Ha ha! They are talking about you in code language. Ha! I have never heard this language. They have created this language on their own 
and the rule of this language is to replace the initials of each word by p why so pai po yeah i got it pya pai pot pit absolutely correct kids you can pause the video to translate the words and try to talk in this language I have understood the language. Pila, pil pu po po pi pai pai. Pass backwards. Pike. Now tell me this. What? Wa mar si to na yoli de. Wa mar si to na yoli da. What are these two talking about? They are again using code language. But this is different from the first one. Bolu, there is no fixed rule for making patterns. You can use any rule to make new patterns and code. What is the rule for this code? We are speaking each word in reverse order. Kids, you can pause the video and use this rule to speak or write something. Tells the samosas, name it class pet dinner chef. Say say. So today we have learned about making our own rules to make patterns from alphabets. and using this rules to make code language patterns using alphabets recognizing alphabet patterns kids today we will learn about recognizing rules of alphabet patterns applying the recognized rule to continue the pattern come let's go to music class today meet sarla madam she teaches music to pinku rinku neeraj diya and chinu hello kids how are you all ma'am i got a sore throat Oh this is because of weather change. Do gargle with some warm water. Well, let me take attendance for today. Ma'am, why need its name is before mine? I was the first one to take admission in your class. Can any one of you tell me why I have put Neeraj's name before Pinku's? I'll tell because Neeraj sings better than Pinku. No, this is not good. You all sing so well. Now think carefully. You have written all the names in alphabetical order. As Pinku's name starts with P and Neeraj's name starts with N. And in alphabets N comes before P. So Neeraj's name is written before Pinku. Very good. Ma'am, our school teacher has also written names in the same order. Writing all names alphabetically is a kind of pattern. So, we can say this is a pattern made of alphabets. Ma'am, are there any more examples of alphabetical patterns? Yes, of course. Let's see. Well, you all know about the seven musical notes, right? Yes yes sare gama padhani These musical notes are also made up of alphabets come let's make some patterns using musical notes today Before making patterns one should remember that there is no fixed rule for making patterns you can make your own rule to make patterns These are the seven musical notes let's make some patterns using this Can you fill in the blanks? After re re will come ga ga. 
After Papa will come Dada. Oh wow, you have done it so quickly. Is there any rule in this pattern? Yes, we are repeating each note twice. Come, let us all sing this together. Kids, you can also sing together. Come, let's make a new pattern now. Can we take three notes together? Yes, why not? If we take three notes together like this, sa, re, ga, then what will come after this? Hmm, re, ga, ma. I will say after this, ga, ma, pa. Wow. Ma, pa, tha. Wow. Pa, dha, ni. Very good. So, what is the rule of this pattern? We are leaving the first note and using the corresponding three notes each time. Very good. So kids, today we have learnt about recognizing rules of alphabet patterns and applying the recognized rule to continue the pattern. And alphabet patterns part 1. Today we'll learn about making patterns from alphabets and numbers and that there is no fixed rule for creating such patterns. We can easily make them by using our own rule. Oh, why is Bhulu playing horn in the middle of the road by stopping his motorcycle? Wow, Bhulu, your new motorcycle has arrived. It's very beautiful. Did you drive it by yourself? Yes, for the first time. Why would I let anyone else to drive? What is written on your motorcycle? This is the registration number of my vehicle. What's that? Let me tell you. This is the enrollment number. Means registration number of Bolu's motorcycle. What does it do? This gives every vehicle a special identity. This is also known as license plate. Yes, the rule of registration number is it contains alphabets in the beginning, then the numbers. Registration number of my vehicle is MHP 3806. Registration number of my dad's motorcycle is A, B, C, 2, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now I got it. Well, let's go to college. Can you make any more patterns which has both numbers and alphabets? Hey, you can also write codes using both numbers and alphabets. How come? This can be used in sending secret messages to anyone. And you can make code using any rule of your choice. Like, look, I have given every second alphabet its place value as the number. Now you say something. Why? I will write it in code. Hmm, I am very happy today. Here, take this. What is this? I wrote down whatever you said. As you can see, I have not given any numbers to I, A and M. They will be written as it is. Then for the next word, very. I have written V as 22, E as E itself, R as 18 and Y as Y itself. Then I have coded happy as 8A, 16, 16Y 16 and today as 20, O, 4, A, Y. Oh, wow! 
Now you say something and I will write it in code language. Hmm, I love maths. Hmm. Kids, you can pause the video to make the code. Here is my code. So tell me, what is this? I, I love, love maths. maths. Yes, right. Today we have learnt about making patterns with numbers and alphabets and that there is no fixed rule for creating such patterns. We can easily make them by using our own rule. Number and Alphabet Patterns Part 2 Today we'll learn about making patterns with numbers and alphabets and that there is no fixed rule for creating such patterns and we can easily make them by using our own rule. Today, while giving my registration number, the officers there asked for my PAN card. Do you have a PAN card? Yes, see this. Your PAN card number is a I C D C eight nine one G. Hmm. One more pattern. Oh yeah. This pattern also contains numbers and alphabets in it. Yes. There are many such patterns around us based on many rules. Like coded language. Yesterday, Raju got caught by teacher while passing secret code. Yes, I have seen it. Let's make a new code to pass messages in the class. Yes, something different, but not so difficult. Can I say? Yes, yes, say. We can convert the vowels of English A E I O U into 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Means, we will convert A to 1, E to 2, I to 3, O to 4 and U to 5. Oh wow! This is quite easy and our other friends don't even know about this. Yeah, I got it. Can you decode the message which I have written? Kids, you can pause the video to decode the message. Let us go to play. Right. We have converted 2 into E, 5 into U, 4 into O and 1 into A. Okay. Well, here is my message. Play or movie? Yes, right. We have converted 1 into A, 4 into O, 3 into I and 2 into E. So now we can text each other by using this code. Here I have taken a small story and converted it into a code language. I am giving this to you. Can you decode it? Oh my God, what is this? Mm, there is something. The code has some relation with the lines. Kids, you can pause the video and try to solve it and then match your answer with the video. Chatura, now please tell. Okay, listen carefully. First, 31 means third line, first word. So next, 42 will mean fourth line, second word. Yes, right. So the rule for this is, first number is for line and the second number is for the word of the line. Yes, absolutely right. Okay, so 7-3 means 7th line, 3rd word. Next, 83 means 8th line, 3rd word. Then we have 2-2 two -two, which means Second line, second word. And two four means second line, fourth word. Chatura, you want to say 
आई सो बुक्स बाय द डोर This reminded me of library books. Yeah, me too. Today we have learnt about making patterns with numbers and alphabets and that there is no fixed rule for creating such patterns. We can easily make them by using our own rule. Number and alphabet patterns part 3. Today we'll learn about making patterns with numbers and alphabets and that there is no fixed rule for creating such patterns. We can easily make them by using our own rule. Let's see what these four friends are doing today. Yes, now we have to be awake all night to study. My seat in class lab 1. Hey I am also in the same class and my seat is in lecture room 2 and mine is in lecture room 3 Wow again alphabets and numbers together Do you remember when we were in school how our classes were named Yes yes 1a 1b 1c and 1d then 2a 2b 2c 2d yes this 12th all classes are named like this with numbers and alphabets together how beautifully it becomes a pattern yes i have never thought about this Have you seen these numbers elsewhere? Kids, you can pause the video and think about similar patterns. On the seats of the bus. On the seats of cinema hall. Very good. Today I'll give you a pattern. Let's see you can continue this or not. Let's find out the rule of this pattern. Kids, you can pause the video and think about the rule of the pattern. Hmm. First we have the number 1, then alphabet A for ones. Then we have number 2 and alphabet B is written twice. So the rule for this is alphabets are repeated in accordance with the numbers written before it. Absolutely right, Kamini. So according to this rule, in the first blank, we will write C for 3 times. Right. Then we have number 4. And we will write D for 4 times. Right answer. Yes, you have made a very nice pattern. Thank you. If we put alphabets in this order, 2 for A, 1 for B, 4 for C, 3 for D, etc., then how will we write let us go home in number code? Let's first finish the code given by you. So number code for E will be 6 and f will be 5 similarly the number code for g will be 8 and h will be 7 and for i it will be 10 for j it will be 9 now here instead of directly writing number codes for the alphabet we will make pairs of alphabets and will interchange their codes with one another like number code of a should be 1 and b should be 2 but by making a pair of them we have interchanged their codes so number code for a will be 2 and number code for b will be 1 similarly number codes of c and d are interchanged and likewise we will write all alphabets with their interchanged number codes Yes this is the order of bolu let will be 
eleven, six, and nineteen. Us will be twenty-two and twenty. Go will be eight and sixteen. Home will be seven, sixteen, fourteen, and six. So, kids, this is it for today. Today we have learned about making patterns with numbers and alphabets and that there is no fixed rule for creating such patterns. We can easily make them by using our own rule. Find number patterns In this video we will learn about Identifying the rules of number patterns, recognizing different rules of number patterns and continuing it further. What is Gurpreet doing today while sitting at home? He hasn't even gone to play. What is he reading in such a thick book? Here comes Samaksh, a close friend of Gurpreet. Gurpreet, what is the matter? Won't you come to play today? Today I am playing with numbers. With numbers? Yes, I was just passing my time by looking at the telephone directory. Suddenly, I noticed a special pattern in this. What's that? The code of the four metro cities of our country is 011, 022, 033 and 044. Hey! This pattern is so easy to remember. Hey kid, you are not going to play today. No daddy, I was looking at the number patterns in this book. Okay, so do you know we can make various patterns using numbers? Look at this. Here, in this table, we do have some numbers along with blank spaces. You both try to fill this. One by one. Hmm, this is a three digit number. 534, 535. So the next one is 536. Right, but you have not filled the first one yet. Hmm, uncle, before 534 will come 534 minus 1, that is 533. And after 538, 539 will come. Yes, and then 540. Wow, you both have recognized the rule of this pattern so easily. Now, try to recognize this pattern. Kids, you can pause the video to recognize the rule of this pattern. Look at the numbers on the right. See how is this looking in a pattern. First one for one time, then one for two times means 11. And then one for three times means 111. And then one for four times means 1111. So which rule is used in making this pattern? 0 multiplied by 9 gives 0, plus 1 gives 1, then 1 multiplied by 9 gives 9, plus 2 gives 11, then 12 multiplied by 9 gives 108, plus 3 gives 111. So with this rule, the next digit will be 123, which on being multiplied by 9, gives 1107 on adding 4 to this will give 1111 number 9 is multiplied each time on the left side first multiplied by 0 then by 1 then by a two digit number that is 12 so by following this rule the next number will be a three-digit number, that is 123, which would be further multiplied by 9. Very good. And see, the numbers which are added are counting numbers, 
such as 1, 2, 3. So following this rule, the next number would be 4. Uncle, so today we have played the game of numbers. Yes, of course. So today in this video, we have learned about identifying the rules of number patterns and recognizing different rules of number patterns and continuing it further. Tile Patterns Identifying Tile Patterns in this video, we will learn about identifying tile patterns and recognizing different tiles in the pattern to continue it further. Mom, I have come back. Uncle, what are you doing? I am looking for some design of tiles in this book. Why? I want to tile the floor of the inner room. Can I also look with you? Sure. These are some tiled floors. Wow, these are so beautiful. Do you know what are tiles made up of? Mm, clay. The tiles are made up of clay, ceramic, marble, and glass. Oh, really? Yes, look at this. Wow, these are so beautiful. Are we also going to have something like this? Yes, we will also use beautiful tiles. How is it? Put this in the courtyard. And this? This one is so beautiful. Uncle, did the tiles come? Yes, look. Can I help you in putting tiles? Yes, sure. First, we will put the grey colored tiles. After that, we will place the white one. And after that, the blue one. And make sure to put the tiles in this order only. So that all of them make a beautiful pattern. Okay, uncle. Now can I put the tile? Yes, of course. No, not like this. The order of placing tiles over here is grey, then white, then blue and then after blue again grey. Using this pattern the whole floor will be tiled. So here near the grey tile we will place the white ones. Now is it okay? Come let's finish the pattern of the floor. Uncle, what will you do? Today, I will place tiles in the courtyard. Which ones? See, I am left with these grey and blue tiles. I will use this. Ok, Uncle. What will be the rule for placing this? You say. We have blue tiles in more numbers, so we can place one grey tile and then two blue tiles. Wow! You have given a great idea. Come, let's tile the courtyard using this pattern. Can I help you in this? Yes, sure. Like this? Yes, right. Now, will we place this grey tile over this grey one? No, uncle. Here we will place two blue tiles. We'll always place two blue tiles near the grey one. Very good. Now tell me, which tile should be placed 
above the blue one. Blue tile. Why? Because we are placing two blue tiles together. Yes, correct. So by this rule, we will place this blue above this blue one too. No, uncle. This will give three blue tiles together. Here we'll place one blue, then one grey, and then two blue tiles. Absolutely correct. Now, what color of tile should we place here? Uncle, see in this line we have already placed two blue tiles. That's why we will use a grey tile now. Wow, Gauri, you have become so intelligent. Come, let's finish this pattern by placing the tiles. In this video, we have learnt about identifying tile patterns and recognizing different tiles in the pattern to continue it further. Identifying tile patterns. In this video, we'll learn about identifying tile patterns and recognizing different tiles in the pattern to continue it further. After a long summer break, today Khushi and Mehak are ready to go to school. Mehak, look at the pavement. How beautifully tiles are placed there. Yes, but what is a tile? Like bricks, tiles are small pieces of different shapes made up of clay, rubber and lime. How do you know? My dad does the work of tiling. Okay, see this pattern is so nice. In this, two colored tiles are placed in a crosswise direction. And this sequence is repeated continuously. I enjoy to work on this. <laughs> I love the pattern of your hair clip too. It seems like black and white tiles are placed simultaneously. Thank you. Well now, let's go to school. Hey look! How beautifully our school is being decorated during summer break. Yes, see some work is still going on. Khushi, look there is your father. Daddy, have you placed all the styles? Yes children, now some of the work of this wall is left. Wow, this is a very beautiful pattern. Yes. We should be very careful while placing the tiles. While placing them, we have to make sure that the pattern is maintained throughout. Oh, like when we paint, we have to be careful. So Mehak, look at this pattern very carefully and tell me, should I place this tile vertically or horizontally? Like this, vertically? No, horizontally. Yes, right. And this style? Very good. See, this pattern is finished. Now, let's leave this to dry. Kids, I have to place circular tiles around the flagstaff compound. Will you both help me? Really? Can we help? Yes, you all can help me to make pattern with the tiles and I will place them. Otherwise, your uniform will get dirty. First, a circle of red tile. Like this? Yes. Then place white tiles along with it, like this. After that? Then daddy, Place the black tile in between the white tiles, like this. Wow! 
you all have thought a very nice pattern and the last circle could be of the red tiles again wow you both have made such a beautiful design with these tiles Let's see how Khushi and Mehak have made such a beautiful pattern by using tiles. You can pause the video and think about more such patterns. Kids, did you like the walls of your school? Uncle, you have made the walls so colorful. I thought You all would love these different patterns. You have used three types of tiles here. In the longer side, which is surrounding these four in the middle, and place them in two two on their sides. In this video, we have learned about identifying tile patterns. and recognizing different tiles in the pattern to continue it further